Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I've been watching a lot of Graham Stephan, um, this guy right here, and um, he does a lot of like reacting to how millennials or just people in general spend their money. I love those videos and I think they're like his commentary on it is so funny. So if he happens to watch this one, I doubt that would happen, but um, hopefully I don't like, you know, mess up too bad. I thought that this would go well, but you'll see what happened. <laughs> I did this for um, February 1st through February 7th, Monday through Sunday, and it's me and my husband. So, so this is two people spending, so you take that into consideration, maybe this won't be so bad. Let's just get started. So first I'm going to go through what we spent in the week, and then I'll also go through all of our bills in the month and divide it by four, since there's four weeks in a month. Um, to get the grand total of what we spent in a week, technically. Monday started off great, didn't leave the house, didn't do anything, cooked food at home, um, already had groceries from the week before, so I spent nothing. Zero dollars, me and Angel spent nothing. Tuesday I also consider good, all we spent was Angel went to the gas station, filled up his tank, um, that was $29.49. Wednesday, also a good one. This is why I thought this week was just going to, you know, go so well and be a boring video because we wouldn't, we weren't doing anything. Wednesday, spent zero. Didn't leave the house, cooked food at home, didn't do anything. So that went well. I wrote all of this down. Okay, so Thursday, that's where we kind of started. <laughs> so some of these things, they're not, you know, for fun though. Um, Angel bought snowblower blades uh, from eBay for $49.49. Um, we live in Indiana, and close to Chicago and Michigan, so it snowed like a foot and um, he needed snowblower blades. The next thing was I went on Amazon. We have a Chom Chom, it looks like this, and uh, it, we have two dogs. It works great, um, but it just broke. So I went on Amazon and I bought another one, and while I was there, there was the suggested stuff, and there was like this broom that you can use on carpet to get dog hair out. So I bought that too. <laughs> so, so that was forty-three dollars and eighty cents on Amazon. But I do have an Amazon credit card, and um, I get five percent back on all Amazon purchases. So you know, maybe that that'll help. <laughs> Everything that we buy, we put on a credit card, so we get cash back or like percentage back for everything we buy. Um, and then we pay off the credit card to zero every month. So the next thing was Angel had to go to Menards because like I said, it snowed and he had to buy salt. So no one slips. Um, that was $21.88. And then that day for dinner, this is kind of, this is my fault. I forgot to take out the chicken to defrost. I went to go make dinner, didn't have anything. I had to go to the store and buy chicken. And while I was there, I also bought cereal and cheese and that total came out to $14.66. So now on Friday, um, I don't know what this was for, but we, one of us had to have gone to the store and spent $13.35. Don't know what for though, that's my bad. Okay, now here we are to the weekend and this is where all of our money always gets spent. Even if we make no plans, things come up. Uh, but we did have plans to go to a movie theater with my whole family because at AMC you can right now a whole theater uh up to 20 people for 200 dollars. so that's what we did and uh we spent 10 dollars for our tickets since me and my husband so that was 20 dollars for the tickets yeah while we were there we got snacks so we angel went to the concession stand for twizzlers and spent five dollars and 45 cents for a pack of twizzlers and then he, i saw him come back with the twizzlers and i was like wow you didn't get me anything so then i went back up there and I spent $19.55 because I got a bucket of popcorn and candy. So yeah, AMC's expensive. Because we were uh, in there with my whole family, me and my brother and Angel went to Hooters, um, got Hooters to go, spent $55, but I had a $45 gift card that I purchased from a gift card website and I bought it for $13. So technically we only spent 26, and uh, my brother paid us 10 because he ate too. So we only spent $16 for that. And then on Saturday, Angel went and got a haircut before this. So that was $21. He, I mean, at least the haircuts, I consider them cheap. He goes to great clips 
$21 and I cut my own hair so on haircuts we don't spend a lot of money. Um, on Saturday also, oh, we keep forgetting to cancel uh, my dog's groomers, like the company, they have a cookie club and every month they charge $10 and you can get unlimited cookies but we never go and get the cookies and we spend $10 every month on that and don't get anything. We canceled it like just last week, but we were charged before we canceled. So $10 for that. Um, that was a waste of money, I know. Uh, Angel wanted to get a car wash for my car and we went to an expensive car wash. It was $10 for the cheapest one. So we spent $10 on that. And then the car wash was next to a gas station and we filled up my tank and it was $38.57 for my car it takes premium. And that was all of Saturday. Um, so Sunday, this is a big charge. We ended up going to a restaurant. There, this new place just opened up and it's like hibachi um, Japanese restaurant. And those are expensive. <laughs> so um, it was four of us that went and we paid for all four of us. Um, it was $212.65. And my brother ended up sending me $75. So technically we paid like 130 something. I don't know the math right now, but I'll put it here. So that was Monday through Sunday. This is how much we spent for just the week. Um, now I'm gonna go through our actual monthly bills and divide them each by four to see how much we technically spent in a week. So I'll start with the big one, our mortgage. So we own a house. Um, we just refinanced with lower rates and everything and our mortgage payment went down like $300 so we pay $890 now for a mortgage so I feel like that's really good um, so divide that by four that's $222.50 okay for groceries each month we go grocery shopping twice a month um, every two weeks we spend about $150 each time I have a budget for it so for groceries it's $300 for a month divide by four $75 a week Okay, now we have our garbage bill. It's $60 uh, divided by four, it's 15 for my braces. I have a payment for it. Um, I pay, it's, it's one of our bigger bills. It's $300 per month for my teeth. <laughs> um, divided by four, it's $75 a month. Next we have Angel's car. He drives a Jetta. Um, it was like a $13,000 car or something, uh, 2015 and it is $215 a month, uh, so $53.75 per week. So my car next is a lease, it's $275 a month, and that is $68.75 a week. And then our car insurance, uh, we have Geico, we spend $135 a month, and that is $33.75 a week. For our Xfinity, it's internet and security, we pay $90 a month, but my job, pays $50 because we're working at home right now so they give us $50 a month for um, internet. That's nice of them. That's temporary. So that drops it down to $40 a month out of our pocket and $10 a week. Okay next our water bill. Angel takes the longest showers. This goes up every month. It fluctuates. Um, right now this month it was at $50 so that was pretty good and $12.50 a week. Next our nips go. So our bill, our electricity, um, that it varies, but it's normally between $200 a month. So that's $50 a week. And that in the winter is um, when it's the most expensive. So right now it's the most it, than it is throughout the whole year. Okay, next I have my school loans. I went to college and I, you know, took a loan out for it and we pay $140 a month for it which makes that $35 a week. And then for Angel, he's in college too, but we are paying cash. So no loan for that one. Um, next we have our dog food. So we have two dogs. We get um, food automatically delivered every month for them and it's $50 or $12.50 per week. Okay, next one, phone bill. Um, my job provides a discount and they pay $65 a month towards my phone. Um, which dropped it down to $125 a month. So we have four lines, we have two phones and two watches. Um, so even after the discount and my job paying $65, it's still pretty high. Uh, that makes it $31.25 per week. Okay, for Spotify, 
Um, we each have a separate plan. He has a student plan that's cheaper and I have a regular plan. So total, it is $14.99 a month and that would be $3.75 a week. Right, next, we have a gym membership. I have a gym membership. Uh, it's about $17, but my job pays for half. So I pay $8.50, which makes it $2.13 per week. My job pays for like a lot of things. <laughs> Next we have a realm subscription. So for Minecraft, um, me and my brother and my husband and a couple of other people, we all play on like this um, realm. And it's $8.55 per month. We pay for it and it's $2.15 a week. So the last thing is Patreon. Angel subscribes to um, this like animator on YouTube and he gets stickers sent to him every month that like are in his animations. So that is $5.35 a month and $1.34 per week. So after all of that is added up, it's a lot. <laughs> so for one week from February 1st through February 7th, we spent $1,151.74. But that includes all of our bills. So I would say not too bad. We also save and we also have plans to do things that we put money towards. Um, we just paid off all of our credit card debt. So we're not doing too bad, but it will get better. We're paying things off slowly. One thing that did help though was um, I invested into Doge. <laughs> I know that like everybody's doing that right now, but I bought a um, hundred dollars worth when it was at like a point zero four, so four cents, and I sold it when it got to eight cents. So I um, doubled my money and I, you know, used that to help pay for some things this week. So yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know if you have any suggestions. If you have any like suggestions on how I should save more money <laughs> or make more money, that's the big problem. I should. I will say though that in the winter is when we make. I would say the least. I mean, Angel works more overtime in the winter, but in the summer, I was doing my job plus DoorDash and shipped, so we were making more money. So, yeah but we're gonna we're gonna fix this <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching like subscribe comment and i'll see you in my next video